This cat lover skips hot meals and washing his hair just so that his cats can eat. By the way, it kind of seems like he doesn't really have that much hair to wash anyways. So Brits have been facing soaring prices and rocketing bills, but Colin Artute Hughes, 45, from Brent, London, is putting his cats Molly, Max, and their three newborn kittens first. He had been made homeless back in April when he was kicked out of his flat by his landlord and was forced to spend weeks with his pets in his car. That's gotta be super sucky. Now he has found a new flat but is struggling to make ends meet. Colin told the mirror all of a sudden everything shot up. Cat food went from 3... 0.60 euros to 4.10 euros. We're not talking pennies. I shop with a budget and have to recalculate what I should put back on the shelf. Now here's a, like here's an easy way to like do a simple budget, right? You can basically have like an idea for how much you want to spend when you go to the grocery store, right? So what you do is you put a balance on your phone, like in a calculator. So let, let's say that you only want to spend, at most, $100 at the grocery store. So what you do is basically have the $100 as your set balance on the calculator, any calculator, and then you basically subtract every item that you put into the cart within that calculator. But you always round up. So like, let's say something costs like, 360, right? You round that up to four. You always round up. Even if it's like a three dollars ten cents or three euros ten cents kind of thing, you round it up to the next dollar. And the reason why you want to do that, it helps you underspend that amount, right? It helps you spend less than the one hundred dollar amount without really having to put any real mental effort into it. So he says, I don't buy certain things I need, otherwise the cats won't get fed. I always put them before myself because it's not their fault. Colin suffers from osteoarthritis, a painful condition which affects 8.5 million Brits, meaning he struggles to work. He stretches every penny by budgeting and does odd jobs for family in exchange for cat food. Well, that's kind of weird. He explained, if I budget for the week Monday to Friday, I can allow myself two hot meals. I got to say, like, this is like, this is honestly pretty depressing to read, right? If your financial situation is so bad like this, you need to go find a way to make money very fast, okay? That is basically getting another job, getting a part-time job, like literally doing anything at that point, right? Because you're basically pretty close to pretty much being homeless again at this point. And he says, if I need shampoo, I use the last bit in the bottle until next week. But despite the added stress of having more mouths to feed, Colin says he will never give up his pets. Now, here's the thing, right? I understand the sentiment, right? Where you never want to give up your pets. But there does come to a point where if you have literally no money to your name and you cannot provide for even your pets you may have to give them away. Like, you may have to take them to a shelter. You may have to do something, right? Because if you cannot provide for them, then you are basically making their life a living hell. So let's see. He said, I can't even think 
What I do without my cats? I need them here. There. It's lonely enough as it is. I wouldn't be able to cope alone. Colin has now learned tips and tricks that help keep the cat's costs low. Sharing his advice for others, he said week by week, check the prices and shop around if you can. You'd be surprised where you can find food cheaper. Places like B&M sell cat food. Let's see. With cat litter, I used to buy the cheap one, but it's actually more cost effective to buy the expensive one because it lasts longer. Tinned food is cheaper than pouches because four pouches can make up one tin. He also received help from an animal charity while he was homeless when Molly, too, went missing. Like, doesn't that kind of suck, right? You're doing all this and your cat basically goes running away. Like, that's got to suck. He said, I was already having to deal with the shock of being told to move out of my home by what I now understand was an alleged rogue litting agency, so losing Molly was the final straw. But after five days, Molly returned and Colin rushed her to Mayhew Animal Hospital, where welfare officers came to her rescue. She said, well, he said, I should say, I don't know what I would have done. I didn't have any food left for the cats. They came out with these massive 5 kilogram bags of cat food, gave us blankets, lent us a box. They were so friendly, they found places for the kittens and said that even if I move, if I get desperate for food, I can come back any time. Well, that's a pretty nice service over there that people end up doing. I kind of like that. But the main thing to really understand from this article that I really want to get across, right? Number one, you need to take care of yourself first by making sure you have enough money coming in to cover your living expenses, right? Because if you are homeless and not getting any money coming in, guess what? You are practically no help to the things that you care about, aka your cats, your dogs, whatever, right? You're not able to take care of them, which is a really big issue, right? People probably have heard, like if you've ever flown in an airplane, you put the mask on yourself first in turbulence, or if anything were to happen, Then you go help out your kid, your family member, your nearby passenger, all that kind of stuff, right? You protect yourself first and foremost. Then you can help other people or other things or animals and all that kind of stuff, right? Because you just end up basically becoming a burden to the thing that you want to help, right? For example... When he was homeless and he could not provide anything for his cats, he was a burden to his cats until he got lucky enough that there was a place that would actually provide food and basically shelter for them in like a very emergency situation, right? So that's something to really think about. If you are struggling, Make sure you do everything in your power to take care of yourself, your finances, so that you can take care of the thing that you actually really want to take care of.